In this video, we'll take a look at a new feature within Mosaic Designer 2 called Instances. You'll notice that I've already placed some fixtures on my layout here. If I select them, I can then right-click and I have the option for New Instance. When I click this, it will create a duplicate set of these fixtures. However, unlike copy and paste, the fixture numbers between these are identical. So both of these two fixtures are labeled as fixture number one and these two are both number two. What this allows me to do is represent individual fixtures that might not be controlled independently. So for instance, if I'm doing a hallway and I have multiple sconces that are all on the same circuit, at a control point, they'll never be controlled separately, but it's nice to see them on my layout. It gives me the ability to have a better view of what is actually going on in my system. This is how instances work. They show separately, but they'll always be controlled the same. The other option I have for instances is being able to take the same fixture and place them on different layouts. If I go to my Trees tab, and if I was to paste this, I would get a new fixture with a new number. However, if I select Paste Instance, I now get my number one and number two represented accordingly. This allows me to use different layouts to show the same fixtures, which is a great organizational trick. If I go over to my fixture list on the left-hand side, I now see a small double circle next to fixture one and fixture two. This tells me that there's multiple instances of this fixture. If you hover over the fixture, it'll tell you how many instances are across the entire project and how many are on the current layout you have displayed. Notice it'll also highlight the fixture in a different color. Instances can be a great organizational tool to help with programming. 